As the conflict escalates overseas, it's being felt right here in our own backyard. Hate speech in the form of flyers. Good evening, I'm Carly Barnett. And I'm Tori Cooper. People living in Brookhaven woke up to anti-Semitic flyers today just hours before a kosher barbecue festival at Brook Run Park in Dunwoody. That's where we find Atlanta News First reporter Asia Wilson tonight. Asia, very different scene out there tonight. That's right, it's quiet now, but earlier today, police and security were heightened for that event here. Now, some people telling us they now have to uh, have concerns about their safety, including at their own homes. Every time we go outdoors, every time we stand in solidarity with the Jewish people, we have this anxiety about being attacked from somebody. Two weeks after Hamas's sneak attack on Israel. One of the most gut-wrenching days of my entire life. Dove Wilker says anti-Semitic flyers were thrown in his Brookhaven neighborhood overnight. Brookhaven police say they responded to three communities. The number one thing that's concerning American Jews today and Jews in the diaspora is one of safety and security. Are we safe from our neighbors? Are we feeling protected? The Anti-Defamation League says anti-Semitic incidents was at an all-time high in 2022. This year alone, Atlanta News First has covered flyers of this type being distributed all over Metro Atlanta. This was a topic of discussion for some in attendance at Sunday's Atlanta Kosher Barbecue Festival. Not only are people facing anti-Semitism in Israel, or, 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 or the things going on in Israel, we're facing anti-Semitism at the highest levels here in the United States. Um, you know, you have to, sh you have to, sometimes you have to hide um, that you're being Jewish here in the United States. While many people came together to enjoy good food. To show strength, to cry with one another, to support one another, and uh, just to feel strong and connected. Some are still feeling pain. What's going on, it feels like a gut punch, and it's felt like a gut punch for the past two weeks. But they say this festival shows resilience during their difficult time. For 2,000 years, we've had to deal with the scourge and virus of anti-Semitism. We've lived through wars and pogroms, terrorist attacks, and yet here we are standing up proudly and saying we are Jewish. Now, Brookhaven police say their department and city leadership are uh, dedicated to investigating this matter to the fullest. They sent a statement to our newsroom which says, in part, we want our community be, to be assured that hate speech will not be tolerated in Brookhaven. For now, we're live tonight at Brookrun Park in Dunwoody. Asia Wilson, Atlanta News First.